Hey, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to look at sprint training drills that help you develop your form. Now, as a field sport athlete, rugby player, football player, it's really important to develop technical qualities of sprinting because it's going to allow you to get an easy improvement in actually your speed. You're going to become more efficient. But what I would say is I want you to be able to focus on this to get good enough because remember what we've got to do is take our speed and then use it with a ball in our hand or a ball at our feet to then go and create game outcomes. So I'm going to take you through a couple of drills right now which you can do before training, you can do on your days off, you can do whenever you need just to help with your running form. Okay so the first one when we talk about and when we're trying to understand what upright running looks like from a top speed perspective what we're trying to do and what we're what we're looking to do is get our hips as high as they can so that when we're moving through space and running fast we can get our leg to turn over in the right time. If they're too low then our leg's not going to be able to be quick enough off the ground and it's going to cause us lots of problems. So these are some simple drills that you can do in your warm-up, as I said, that are going to allow you to really work on keeping a high hip, okay, and turning that leg over underneath. So we're just going to take you through three today. And the first one is going to be our ankling. Now, ankling is really important because it's stiffening up the ankle, okay? And it's just nice and bouncy hips over our feet, okay, and moving through, working to stiffen up that ankle. Now the ankle obviously is the most important joint because when the foot hits the ground, that's the one that has to be really stiff and not collapse to maintain our pelvic position. And then the second drill that we'll use today is our A skip. Now the A skip is all about finding this nice high thigh position and working on the coordination and the timing of our limbs. So as I'm bouncing, I'm tapping on the ground and I'm working. As this foot comes down, the other one comes up. And I'm using my hamstring to bend my knee because with that, if I use my hamstring to bend my knee, I'm able to release all that tension and release all the stress out of the hamstring, which is really, really important. And that whole time, just like the ankling, our A skip, we're working to keep our hips really high controlling, using our abs, controlling our pelvis, which is going to allow us a really good base to spin our legs and work from. And then the last one is an A switch. So here we're doing the opposite. The first two drills, we've tried to keep the hips high, okay, by pushing into the ground. Now what we're going to do is we've got to try and beat the hips down, okay. So with our A switch from here, I'm working, and let me show you from the front, I'm working to keep my hips as high as I can and not let them hit the ground first, not let, hit, let my feet, sorry, what I'm trying to do here is beat the gravity on the way down with my leg because if my hip drops I can't keep it high and we need it high to maintain our speed. So this A switch drill is really really important and helps with this. So I'm attacking the ground, ripping my feet up nice and fast, okay, and building that explosive speed. So there's three drills that you can use to improve your top speed running form and make team sports easy.